Kazimir Stasek. He's been a good source of info on a couple of minor cases I had here in the city. Hello, my friend. Ah, Mr. McPherson. And how are you this dark evening? I can't complain. And how's my favorite boy in blue? Besides my eye and this horrible murder, everything's fine. I imagine you don't have anything more to give me? This time I'm afraid I have nothing for you, my friend. Everyone is more or less at a loss. You don't mind if I ask you a couple of questions anyway? Of course not. How long has this been going on? It started about three weeks ago. You didn't hear about it until now? No, I wasn't in town. I just got back. I was working a case outside the city. Someone called me to see if I could come back and help. Ah, the very beautiful Miss Ida Skalikova, I presume? Good guess. She's worried for her friends. I told her I'd see what I could do. Can you tell me about your new boss? Inspector Yuri Skalnik. He was given the case and got temporarily assigned to this district. He has a good reputation, but he doesn't share much information with us. He keeps to himself a lot. What? He doesn't trust you? Honestly, I don't know. Maybe he thinks we're incompetent or something. Maybe. But he'd be stupid to think so. Why, thank you, my friend. Were all the victims' bodies dumped? Yeah, I believe so. But then again, I don't have much information, as I said earlier. Was there ever an eyewitness? Nope. Never. That's what bothered me the most. How was the killer getting around the city without being seen? How'd you get the Shiner? Shiner? Your black eye. How'd you get it? Oh, uh, I arrested a man last night and for some reason my eye hit this man's very large fist. Did you get sucker punched? Well, a little. My partner didn't have time to warn me. Everything happened so fast, I was helping the woman and I turned around to see if my partner was okay and wham! Next thing I knew, I was flat-faced on the side. What did the man do to deserve your undivided attention? He was harassing a young woman. So I asked him to stop and then things got out of hand. The police are trying to find this animal. We're a little nervous when a man harasses a young woman these days. That's understandable. Well, I should leave you to your work and I have to see my client. Thanks for your input. You're welcome. Be careful. Will do. Eastern Europe. She's my angel and the love of my life. I met her on a small case I was working. She used to dance in the neighborhood cabaret. She was involved with the married man I was following. It was love at first sight. Hey, look at you all dolled up. Hi, sweetheart. I don't like it when you call me that. I didn't call you a doll. I said that you were... Never mind, I'm sorry. Good. Now have you talked to that useless inspector? Yes, I have. And I didn't get much from the meeting. Are you going to help us? Of course I will. Is there really any doubt? No, but you never know. When do you want to settle this? Now or later? No, I don't want money, Ida. Nonsense! You will accept our money. How much do you charge? Okay, listen. We'll settle this after the case, alright? Do you promise? Because we'll feel insulted if you don't accept our money. What was I supposed to do? Take money off these women? That's the last thing I wanted to do. Yes, I promise. I will charge you at the end of the case. Yeah, right. What was her name? Who? The victim's name? Oh, her name was Frantiska. Were you close to her? Not as much as Milena, but yes, I knew her. Did she ever talk about a regular client or someone special? Not that I know of. Do you think Milena can answer a few questions? I guess. Let me ask her. Milena? Yes? This is my friend. The one I told you about? He's here to help us catch the man responsible. Do you think he can ask you some questions about Frantiska? Okay. I'll wait for you up the stairs, okay? Okay. I'll see you in a bit.
Hello, Milena. My name's Gus McPherson. I'm here to help stop this from ever happening again. I thank you, sir. Not a lot of people would help women like us. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions about Francisca? No, that's fine. How long have you known Francisca? Oh, I've known her for a long time. We met in the orphanage when we were just little girls. Her uh, parents had died in a terrible accident. We became very close. We both left the orphanage never to return. We never liked the sisters. Ever since we left, we tried to survive on the streets, even changing cities. But we kept coming back here. Did she ever talk about someone new or special? No. It was not her style. Francisca would rarely take new clients. She had regulars and enough to allow her to survive. She would only take complete strangers if she absolutely needed to. Apollina is more like that. She always has a new rich client. Did she ever have a client that had been violent with her? No. She only had clients she trusted. How about you? Have you had any trouble with any of your clients? No, I'm like Francisca. I have only regular clients. If I'm on the streets, it's because I'm keeping my friends company. Were you close to any of the other victims? Well, there is one that was a common friend to Francisca and me. Her name was Anezka. No one's found her. She just disappeared one day. We honestly don't know what happened to her. And I knew the others only on a professional level. Did Anezka ever complain about any clients before she disappeared? Or did she ever talk about leaving? Well, we all talk about leaving. Who wants to live their life like this? But she never complained about anything. Anezka was like Apollina. She took on many clients. She left town a lot, but always came back with a broken heart. I hope she did find someone and left this place. Where can I find this Apollina? She usually works the park. Rare are the girls who are allowed to enter it. She's very protective of her territory. That's what she calls it anyway. Francisca and me were allowed in because Apollina knew we didn't take strangers and pretty much had our own regulars. Anezka was Apollina's good friend, so she was allowed to. So we all kept each other company in the park. Maybe Apollina knows where Anezka is. I don't know. Well, thank you for answering my questions. It was a pleasure to meet you, even under these unfortunate circumstances. Well, it was nice to meet you, Mr. McPherson. I thank you for trying to help us. Trying? I haven't even started yet. If I have any more questions, how may I contact you? Usually in the park. Again, thank you. Ada's an angel on Earth. She's the sweetest person I've ever met. I truly believe she doesn't have an angry bone in her body, even with the difficult childhood she had. A stepfather who molested her on a regular basis. Ida is always positive, and she's always willing to help the people who surround her. That's why she hired me to try and help. She has an undying optimism about life in general, and I love her for it. Hey. How is she? She's okay, I guess, under the circumstances. I'll go talk to her after. Tell me, where can I find Emil Corona? Who's he? He's the coroner working the case. I need to ask him a few questions. Skalnik said he worked in an old chapel. Do you know where it is? Yes, I'll mark it on a map. I don't need a map. Just tell me where it is. What is it with men in directions? Take this map, it'll help you. I marked the location of the old chapel. It's not far from here. Okay. Thanks, sweetheart. How have you been? I mean, are you feeling better? Yes, a little. It's not as bad as when you left for your case. Did you go see the doctor? No. Ida, go see him. It might be serious. I'm no doctor, but throwing up every day is not normal. Go see him. Okay, okay, I'll go see him. I don't throw up every day, you know. You always exaggerate. Yes, okay, but go see him as soon as possible. Okay, I have to see this Corona. 
I want you to stay off the streets as much as possible. Never walk around alone. Yes, I know you've told me a hundred times. I am careful. Okay, I'll ease up on you. You be careful. I will. Now go. What are you doing here? Why aren't you at your post? Well, you told me to. Never mind. Do you have any news, at least? Yeah. The American is talking to the girl's boss. So, he thinks he can move in on my women, huh? Well, my friend, if you ever see him, you may explain things to him. Uh, explain what? Use that brute force of yours, you idiot! Aha, uh ha, -huh, ha, uh ha, -huh, okay, boss! I truly miss your brother. He was the smart one. Yeah, I miss him too. Why can't we get him out? Because I'd probably get arrested too, you moron! That's all Skalnik wants anyways. I have a feeling he will blame me for all these murders. Why am I telling you this? Go back to your post. You see the American, you can rough him up. Okay, boss. I'd better steer clear of the big guy. The scrawny looking guy was probably Odokar Kubina. Who can forget that name? Anyways, he was the pimp of the neighborhood. He worked out of this little lingerie shop, which acted as a front, of course. He owned a couple of joints in the district, including the cabaret where Ida used to work. I think he never forgave me for stealing Ida from that dive. 